Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my page, Money Making Juggernaut. I'm your host, Eric Richardson, the number one educator in the asset recovery business. Today, I have a great video, guys. I'm gonna tell you what you need to be aware of if you are working mortgage foreclosures. Before we get started, guys, go ahead and hit the like, hit the subscribe button. You guys already know I'm coming out with this content for you guys. So, if you're working mortgage foreclosures, this is something that you guys need to be aware of. Mortgage foreclosures is slightly different than tax details, okay? It's pretty much the same protocol. We have a foreclosure, the property is gonna sell for a higher amount, there's gonna be a surplus. But what we need to understand is in mortgage foreclosures, the opening bid isn't always the amount that was owed, okay? Once again, the opening bid isn't always the amount that was owed. Now on the tax sale, typically it is. The opening bid is the taxes that we're doing. Opening bid for mortgage foreclosure sometimes can be two thirds of the appraisal amount or two thirds of the final judgment amount. Sometimes it could also just be a dollar amount that a trustee on a non-judicial sale feels as deemable for the foreclosure, for the actual auction. So the opening bid, we need to be aware that that isn't always what is due. So how can we figure out what is due? Guys, we're gonna be looking for a final judgment. Should be recorded in the county's office, okay? We should be able to find that. You can search people up. These cases are gonna be where the defendant is the previous owner. You'll be able to find that information. Some cases, they'll even have a link directly to that final judgment document and you can see it. Some states refer to it as final writ, W-R-I-T, and then you'll be able to find that information, guys. All right, so that's the first thing we gotta be aware of in mortgage foreclosures is that the opening bid isn't always the amount that was due. We have to do our due diligence to figure out exactly what was due. If you're working with third-party service like Property Radar, you're gonna be able to easily see this information and review it. So Property Radar, shout out to them, great site to use and get that valuable information. Now, the next thing that you guys wanna be aware of when you're working mortgage foreclosures is that there can be additional mortgages and creditors that are actually entitled to those funds that can come in and sweep those surplus funds away. So specifically, if we're working non-judicial states, okay, in which the trustee is hosting the auction and holding the, the surplus funds, we want to request a disbursement history, okay? So if there is a surplus and they're like, hey, no, you know, there was a second mortgage or there was a lien holder that swallowed up the surplus. You want to see proof of that payment. You want to see disbursement history because they have a superior lien or they're first entitled. Doesn't mean that the trustee did indeed hand over those surplus funds. It could be possible that that party did not actually claim those funds. So if they didn't claim those funds, What's the protocol for the trustee? Are you guys gonna keep these funds? Are you guys gonna then disperse these funds to the unclaimed property division of the state and then now we can go after it? So these are things that we have to understand, guys. Just because a property sells for a higher amount, doesn't always mean that that surplus is indeed available to claim. There's times where there's a second mortgage and additional creditors and lien holders who are actually entitled to those funds. So if you guys are working mortgage foreclosures, make sure you stay aware of this, guys. All right, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you haven't been working mortgage foreclosures and you wanna learn mortgage foreclosures, get the asset recovery course. The link is in the description. Use code TAKEACTION. You'll receive $100 off. I'm looking forward to helping you out.